What happened to Eldritch? Over the last couple of years, trap cards have gotten increasingly better with every set that came out. We had a lot of new cards coming out, but also a lot of cards coming back. Solemn Judgment, think of the limiting of Red Reboot. Traps have become a lot better. But we also got a couple of new cards that have appeared in the meta quite a little bit. Think of Ice Dragon Prison, think of There Could Be Only One, think of Eldritch. Traps have gotten to become a little bit too good. When Konami did agree that maybe having three Red Reboot was a little bit too much, they did give us a lot of new cards to work with and to counter the trap decks that have been becoming a little bit more popular. We've got Harpy's Feather Duster back and Lightning Storm at 3, which is basically Harpy's Feather Duster at 4 now. And even in the OCG, this has become apparent that Eldritch had become a little bit of a problem. They limited Eldland and there were a couple of other things that were happening over there as well. And even though the strategy was very popular over here, and a lot of people really complained about it, there were almost no hits to the deck whatsoever. Konami never felt that it was necessary to hit this deck, even though, yeah, people were asking Sanguine to be limited at a certain point, which is really, really weird because that was never gonna happen. Now we're in 2022, and on the last banlist, Skill Drain recently got unlimited, and people were very vocal that they did not like it, even though when you think of it, Skill Drain will be played in a very limited amount of decks. Basically, it's only really good in Eldritch because it doesn't use any monster effects at all. The trap decks that we've gotten to know over the last couple of years, they are not seeing any play whatsoever. The meta right now is in a really, really weird spot, but there's not a lot of Eldritch in sight, which really makes you wonder, where is Eldritch? On the 27th of January, the Grand Creators was released, bringing us the insane new engine Brave Token slash Adventure Token. Then on the 7th of February, we got Skill Drain back to 3. At first a lot of people were grabbing on their pitchforks, uh, especially after Master Duel just got released and everyone on there was playing Eldritch with traps. People were very not excited for this meta. Uh, they Dealt, that the trap decks would ruin the game, that skill drain to 3 was a huge mistake, people were talking about maining lightning storm, making, um, maining the twin twisters. But now a couple of weeks later, <laughs> we just had a YCS and out of the top 32, there was exactly one Eldritch deck. And that got immediately kicked out at the top 32. This list features a lot of the cards that we mentioned earlier, like Ice Dragon Prison, Skill Drain, Salt and Judgment, there could be only one, and a lot of new support as well, like the King of the Sky Prison, which was just released a couple of weeks ago, months ago, at this point, I mean, this year's already taking very long. Uh, what's cool is that in the side deck he Sides Dragoon, which is a little bit of a callback to back when Eldritch was first being played. Uh, Dragoon was very popular in the deck because, again, didn't really have any monsters on the field turn one anyway, so might as well summon on the gate. But how can only one trap deck be in the top 32 if everyone was so scared of it? Well, there's two real we reasons why Eldritch disappeared from the metagame. First reason is keeping it in check. If you look at the top 8 deck lists, top 8 of the entire event, the top 8 duelists that got the furthest at the remote YCS, you will see that 7 out of 8 players run multiple back row destruction cards in their side deck to destroy the back row matchup. From Cosmic Cyclone to Twin Twister to Lightning Storm evenly matched Red Reboot to RP Sider Duster. And yeah, there was only one player that didn't do this, which was Pack. In the deck profile that Pack gave on his DDD list, he claimed that uh, he had in archetypal removal through the use of Orthos which is one card in his deck that would destroy the back row matchup. Not sure if that would have worked out, but uh, hey, he got to the top 8, so um, it is what it is. In general, it is super easy to keep the trap decks in check. 
all trap decks die basically do the same thing. Whether you play Palio, you play Altergeist, you play Eldritch. Just mass macro removal, like Lightning Storm or Evenly Match, just completely destroys all the chances that you have at winning the duel. It's really easy to just dedicate five spots. Uh, one reboot, one Arby's Feather Duster, three quick play spells to remove stuff or three Lightning Storms. Really, whichever way to go. And if you're really scared of the deck, you can just play more. The second reason why it really fell out of popularity is the Brave deck. The power of the Brave deck is really unimaginable. It's so weird to think that when these cards were announced, people really did not know the power of it. People were calling it really bad and nearly unplayable, and well, here we are. If you don't run Brave now, your deck is already at a pretty significant disadvantage. But there's a couple of things that we overlooked. We overlooked the combo potential and the consistency of the archetype, and for our point, to talk about Eldritch, what's really powerful is the Draco Bag Rider. This card can out any Flood Gate, any Trap card that is set, it can bounce any card on the field without much trouble. And the reason why it's that good is because the popular Trap cards that we're playing right now do not play into the Brave Token deck really, really well. Just one Rites of Arasmir brings you one token and one continuous spell card, which will search you another monster and a um, and the equip spell. And to deal with it as an Eldritch deck, it's really difficult. You can't really torrential the token because it misses timing due to activating a quick play or the continuous spell. You can conquest it or the token, but that's kind of trading two cards for one, but they just plus, so also kind of heavy. Ice Dragon Prison doesn't counter it, Solemn Strike doesn't counter it. Solemn Judgment can negate it, but if they have a second Arasimir, then... Well... GG, I guess. So it's really almost unbeatable, not to even talk about the Tenjis in the deck, like Vizuda, destroying your entire chances of winning already. And then there's also the end board of the Brave decks. Usually Trap decks were really good at going first, but they were also pretty decent at going second, because setting a Torrential Tribute and a Solemn Strike really always resulted in GG's. But the Brave decks end on a slightly different board. With the power of the Sword Souls and the easy generic Sword Soul Blackout, you can easily end on the level 10 Synchro uh, ch changing and destroy 2 back row, then banish 1 card on the field, then banish 1 card from the grave. Yeah, your set 5 just turned into a set 2 and you just lost two cards because they were banished, one from field and one from the grave. So I really hope those last two cards are Torrential and Strike, and even then the Cheng Ying is still staying on the field, which is kind of insane. So going first, you don't really have that much against the Brave stuff, and going second, you cannot really clear their board at all. Yeah, it was supposed to be a perfect storm, but it turned into a mere breeze. The deck is still very viable, but there are just a lot of matchups that are just very difficult to deal with nowadays. A lot of decks chain block, a lot of decks you simply cannot respond your good traps to, and the traps that were good a little while ago are just not as good now with all the pile decks that basically play the same cards, and you have a bad matchup against all those cards. You can still pretty easily win game 1 if you win the die roll especially, but game two and game three are going to be, yeah, very, very hard. It's uh, not looking really good. All the surprises here that are known and the uh, traps really do not function anymore as traps. People know exactly what to expect against your deck and they can side into you pretty, pretty good. But I do believe that there's still hope for the deck. Even though the traps are really not in a good spot right now, too much removal, bad matchups, the Eldic deck has been revitalized into a new engine. The Pile decks that we've seen popping up recently, some of them also are starting to play the Eldritch deck, especially due to the brand new card Illusion of Chaos that can search out Magician Souls. You can make a pretty good deck that revolves around turboing DPE, also resolving sides, and drawing cards with souls and setting down your Eldritch traps. 
Uh, one of the popular strategies right now is the Cyber's Eldritch deck, which is uh, very cool because it draws a lot of cards, sets up DP and Sight. And yeah, you just end on DP, Sight and Eldritch Traps, which is really, really nice. Yeah, that's definitely one of the newer things that the deck has been doing recently. And we're just getting used to these pile decks, so I'm sure that there will be a lot more coming very soon. But the Pure Trap version... Yeah, I don't really think we are going to be seeing that for a little while. From the release of Wild Bitch, the deck has been feared by many, hated to be played against. People really wanted it to be hit, but now that we look back at it, it was never really that necessary. It got released, power crept, fought back to the top, power crept again, and now it's in really a weird spot. People really hate the deck because of Master Duel. But in the TCG, it's not doing anything, hardly even existing. So yeah, the TCG really proves that nothing is ever what it seems, even when it comes to skill train being a 3, being insane, or if it's, yeah, the brave deck that we all thought sucked when it was first announced. Any card can break a meta, and any card can be disappointing and not meet up the expectations. But yeah, that's why Eldritch is kind of gone now. Um, do you like that? Do you not like that? If you're still playing the deck? Or do you just not comple completely agree with me at all? Let me know in the comment section down below on why you think the deck is not as good right now, or if it's really, really good and I should play, I don't know, some weird version with like 60 traps and one lord or something. Yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.